Hello everybody, this is Daryl at HudsonsCustomMachining.com We've got on the bench today a rotor from a GE Pancake fan. Uh, the, the GE Pancakes ran from the 1894-95 period to about 1908. 1908 was a transitional year that they went into the big motor yoke fans. Uh, and from then on had a front and rear bearing, but the pancake uh, style motors had a single bearing like this one. It was uh, quite long and uh, the rotor came in from the back side of the motor and uh, the bearing road here and you can see where the wick uh, comes up out of the oiler on the bottom side here comes up and rubs against this uh, shaft and you can see on this shaft where there's a lot of wear from that wick uh, a lot of times the wick will get old and hard and people won't lubricate it with the right uh, lubrication they'll use grease and back in the day around the turn of the century 1900s 1910 20 period we didn't have oils that are refined and, and synthetics and all like we have today and people would use lard or anything they could find, bacon grease, whatever, and they would uh, rub it on the wick uh, or drop it down in the hole there and uh, to try to get some lubrication. Well, uh, that's just a magnet for dirt and dust and uh, abrasives to get on the end of that wick and ride as this rotor is spinning as the motor's running and it's just it just cuts a groove right in that shaft right there this is probably from a dirty wick lack of uh lack of cleanliness and lubrication so uh what we're going to do you can see this is kind of gnarled up on the end here that's a little better uh, we're going to remove this old shaft out of this rotor and uh make a new shaft and get a new shaft in this rotor for the customer and uh, probably make a new bearing too and send a new bearing along with it. This one's kind of uh, egg-shaped and worn and, and uh, so we'll send a new bearing back to the customer as well. So that's all for now. I just wanted to show you here what we're starting with and when we get the new shaft in there we'll do a part two of this video here. So we'll catch y'all here in just a little bit. Look for part two coming up.